What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and we got more knowledge and game for you guys to put in your backpack. Your backpack of madness and, um, you know, creativity. Now, today we're going to cover, uh, we're going to do a series. I'm doing a series. I'm going to dedicate a series of tutorials to you guys called Micro Sessions. And what these sessions is going to be is um, every day for the next 30 days, I'm going to do maybe a one to two minute session with you guys. And what we're going to discuss and what we're going to talk about is, uh, and I wish you guys can see this. I'm actually trying. Okay, there we go. We're going to go into one step at a time showing you uh, how to put together a mixtape, but we're going to do them in micro sessions. That way you can take one information one step at a time and you can add it uh, to your arsenal of knowledge. Now, the reason why we're going to do one at a time is because I want to drive one point home and let you or give you time and allow you to master it. All right. Now, uh, it's going to be spread out throughout 30 days. Now, if you want to uh, pass that 30 day uh, uh, limit up and you want to get right straight to it, of course, you can log in to uh, todaysbeast.com uh, slash product and a PSD expert flyer design. I'll just put the link below and you can just buy the, uh, you know, buy the kit and um, you can, you know, learn how to uh, put all these things together. You don't have to wait your 30 days, but if you want to save some money and you want to let these things seek in one step at a time, slowly but surely, then just make sure you subscribe to this channel and every day you're going to learn something new about Photoshop. All right. I wish I could show you this other image because it's really nice, but I, it's not coming up for some reason. I got to fix that. Anyway, what we're going to do today, the session today, or should I say the micro session we're going to do to do today and also leave a, leave something in the comment box. Uh, let me know what what you would like to learn. Other than that, I'm going to randomly pick one item, one skill and uh and show you how to get her done um okay so what we're going to do today is the glow effect a lot of people want to know t how do you do the glow effect now there's a principle behind it so i'm going to show you how to do that so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to pull up a, a just a regular you know screen or whatever and um, i'm just going to find an image uh let's say here we're going to do kind of like a rough dummy oh i, I actually i'll tell you what we do here all right, first thing I'm going to do is pull up a few items that's going to make this job uh, easy and make me be able to show you pretty briefly. So we pulled up Rick Ross and we got a sky and um, we can ignore this background for now. Now, to do the glow effect, it's a simple uh, technique. Create another layer. Make sure that you make this layer a screen layer. Now, go over to your brush. Make sure that you have a soft brush soft not a hard make sure it's a soft brush and now you can adjust the size however you want and then the goal the idea is to come over and pick a color right after you pick the color pick whatever color you want now in this case we want to pick something blue because what I want is I want this light to omit a ray uh, I mean should I say emit a ray you know what I'm talking about you know y'all know I don't know how to talk I don't got no good vocabulary diction but I want to I want it to emit a, a, a glow each of these emit its own little glow so right now we're gonna do some blue glows then we're gonna go down here we're gonna do some orange glows right and uh, so let's go ahead and do that so what I like to do is and I'm gonna show you two different techniques here we're gonna pick this and uh, we're gonna hit OK and we're just going to okay, we're gonna shrink it down a little and boom you see that you see that little glow you see what happens here open that up put a glow there put a glow there and you notice the more glow you put it kind of it kind of bleeds over the face of Rick Ross a little bit and that's what you actually want now the reason why this works I'm gonna try to explain to you why it works so that you can understand and you can apply it you can apply it to different places for different reasons and things like that like for example yeah I'll, I'll explain to you later let's zoom in on his jury and let's make some glows on his jury now the idea fam is to make sure that you put the glow over white over something that's white 
and you're putting the glare over it. You can't put it over something dark, and I'll explain to you why. It have to be white, and I'll explain to you why this science works. Let's create another layer. Let's go to our, our colors, and right now we want a glow that, that corresponds to his chain. So we'll pick something in the orange area, right? Okay, so we'll pick that. Let's hit OK, and uh, let's get our brush back, and let's shrink it down, and let's put a glow there. Oops, I'm sorry about that. What mistake did we make? Ah, we didn't put it on screen. Boom, now you see what happened when we put it on screen? Let's put one here. Shrink this down. Ah, you see what happens? You see how it's working, fam? You see that? Now, uh, let me explain to you what's going on. When you put it on screen, screen always um, removes black. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go, let's get a lens flare. Lens flare. And if you really understand what's going on behind the uh, the magic of uh, Photoshop, it can really help you to understand how and why these uh, glows work. So let's copy this image and let's uh, go over here and let's dump it. Boom. Uh, now let's here. Let's. Uh, I guess we don't have to shrink it down right now. Everything is covered, right? What well, the goal is to make this black opaque and make everything else in this image stay put. But we just want to remove the black. So to so to make all the black disappear, including, now here's the secret fam, here's the real secret, including all of the black that's going in there, it's all gonna be removed and the only thing that's gonna be left is what's white, right? So watch this, we go there and we hit screen and that's exactly what we did. We removed everything except what's white. Oops, sorry, I messed around and changed. Now you can use something like linear dodge, you can use color dodge, but color dodge does, does a totally different thing and that's for a whole totally different micro session. But anyway, this is the idea. So now that you see, when we go to screen, we remove everything black. Now you, some of you may already be familiar with that but you may have not been familiar with the effects that it have on something like this. Now let's remove everything and you see how we got the blue. But if you notice that if we, it's on screen. So right now, this is what we are seeing. We are seeing the solid blue and then it's fading away. But ironically, when you put an image below it, that dark blue actually disappears into the light. You see how that works? So watch how we remove it, it's gone. We put it back, it glows. Now watch how, watch what happens when I remove the image. Boom, it's dark. Well, why is that happening? It's happening because by this being screen, again, when we remove everything, we're not seeing the actual black that's in here. The darker, the darker, the particular color that you pick, the darker it is that you choose, the more it's going to get removed when you put it, when you put it under an image. And that's why one of the key elements, fam, the key to this is to make sure that you put that glow over something that's white. It don't matter if we put that glow here. Let me, let me do that. It doesn't matter if we put that glow over something dark. I mean, oops, sorry about that. Let me go back. It don't matter, it don't work. The technique don't work if we put it over something dark. What actually happens is, if we put it over something dark, um, it's not removing the darkness. You have to put it over something light. You see how that works? You see that? So, so that's the difference. So make sure that when you're doing it, make sure you put it over something light. So now we're making this, we're fat making this very fascinating. Ooh, that sound like a. Who do I sound like when I that? Fascinating. I like some type of scientist. Okay. So anyway, so so we see that glow there. So let's put Rick Ross back there. The other thing I wanted to drive home is the fact that uh, Rick Ross. You see how we put the glow over it and it's kind of uh, falling over him. Well, that's one of the magical things that happens when you put screen, and that's why you don't want to put the screen behind him because it's not realistic. You want to put these glows up in front of him so that it can spill because light spill adds to the realism of the particular uh, artwork that you're doing so now let's put a glow down here now i'm gonna show you one more tip and actually this is longer than i wanted it to be uh another tip watch this is to do this start off dark right start off dark hit okay make sure that the glow is big right it's a very subtle you see how it's subtle it's subtle right right that's that's more realistic 
then then as you you want it to be hotter and hotter so what you do is you move up a little and you shrink it and you make the glow a little a little hotter and then you come up a little bit more you hit okay you shrink it you make it even more hotter you see what i'm saying and then you can bring it you can really go all the way in you can go hard in the paint and now you have a really nice looking realistic glow now again you see how i just did that see there's no light to complement it there you see but it will work here because you're working with white so we're going to do the same thing here let's put a little glow there put a little glow there okay we're going to do the same thing with this chain the same concept applies right shrink it down let's make another layer so this can be separate hit another layer put it on screen micro explode that bam bam see that shrink it down that's excellent that's cool 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 and um let's do this let's put a big glow so we'll go down dark keep in mind it's going to remove everything that's dark we got all this white to work with so everything else is going to be a glow we hit it so we make it soft right then we brighten the color up we zoom in on it and bam so that's how you do the glow effect that glow effect alone does miracles to your um to your artwork all right that's the micro session for the day fam thank you for watching this your homie grand tizzle and make sure you not only subscribe fam but let me show y'all something oh, yeah, like uh i have some other artwork up here here these are some other sessions that i'm doing if you want to fast forward to these and you don't want to wait you know a whole month to check out these then make sure you log in to the website and get it popping bam todaysbeat.com slash product boo, boo, boo. i'll show you the link be at the bottom don't even worry about it don't even trip on it but anyway fam that's your homie grand tizzy that's it for today thank you for watching until the next time I'll see you in a minute see you on a spin it make sure you share peace subscribe and i'm out anything is possible if you can think it you can do it the only limitation, the only obstacle is your brain. If you believe it, you can achieve it. If you don't, you won't. It's just that simple. We at Red Media Art understands this, but we encourage you to do more than just learn. We at Red Media Art want to push you, inspire you, invoke you to shoot beyond what you believe is possible. We understand the true secrets of success, the way the mind works in learning environments, how the brain releases dopamine each time you learn something new, and how you can change your life simply by changing your mind and sticking to it. We not only train you in developing a skill, but we also train you in developing a mindset, helping you to become far beyond your own abilities and helping you.